we've made our way to Fetier, which is a small little city. We've organized with the marina here to uh, put Nikau in for a few days and we're going to be doing a road trip with the crew of No Plans and we will be going to Cappadocia which is an amazing place inland. There's three goats in the back of this car. It's crazy. <laughs> He's a spitter. Oh, you the can't goats, pass the goat. The goats have taken off. Oh, okay, hang on. There Let's see if I can give you a good shot. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. wow. So we're going on a road trip with our pets, Coco and Sugar. So if you've got goats, then you just take them along as well. Little Coco, Sugar, and Sugar Boogie. inland for about three hours into Turkey and we've come to the ancient city of Laodicea. If you've read Revelations, John essentially says, and you might have read the scripture, that he says that you uh, have all of this wealth, you have everything that you need. He says, I stand at the door of your heart and I knock. All you got to do is open the door of your heart and, and let God in and he'll come and live within you like God's a merciful, forgiving, loving God and all he wants to do is make sure that this church here at Laodicea comes back to him and is committed to him and not doing life on it, their own strength depending upon their own abilities but just trusting in him and having faith in him. So the church of Laodicea says it was identified and excavated in 2010. It looks like it was a pretty massive building. It's all undercover here. Pretty cool to think that it was such a big church here so long ago. arrived in Pamukkale, Pamukkale Melrose, House Hotel. Melrose House Hotel, and what's your name? Here is the owner of Mehmet, Mehmet. Mehmet, and yeah. Mehmet knows some Kiwi. He... Kiara, what? Kiara, <laughs> Woo. And they even let us have our cat and our dog here, and they've got a beautiful pool, I'll show you outside. Woo. Look at this. It's so good to be here with the pool, got a beer, and just chilling out at the end of the day. <laughs> Exhausted. I've never slept in a round bed before. Should be interesting. Gotta say, we just think Turkey is amazing. It's so affordable for us as a family. This hotel here cost us less than a hundred dollars for two rooms. It includes breakfast. The breakfast is amazing. It's fruit, jams, hot breads, eggs, cheeses. Just incredible coffee and last night they did a big dinner for us it cost us less than $30 New Zealand it's just an incredible place and the people are so friendly so hospitable I forgot my phone charger they just gave me one they let me take it to the room for the night they're just an awesome family it's just a family-run hotel and we're loving it so the reason why we stayed at that quaint little place is to come here to Pamukkale Pamukkale is a world heritage site because it's famous for these white calcium cliffs that have formed terraces. What do you think, Annie? It's really cool. I like all the water. It's stepping in water all the time. It's kind of like a pink and white terraces. Turn or turn yeah, it's way cool. But they're white. So what white. were those for our viewers? Pink and white terraces? The pink and white terraces were like terraces like this but they were big baths all over they were in New Lake Zealand Tarawira. right one of the wonders of the world but destroyed in a massive in well, the Tarawira yeah. eruption mm -hmm. 
So here we've got nature's architecture. The beautiful thing about it is that we've got water, it's a self leveler. We've got gravity, which obviously pulls the water down at 90 degrees. And so we have these amazing little basins that look like they've been fashioned by concrete. Perfectly level, perfectly straight sides, but mother nature's been doing the work. This is God's attempt at an infinity pool. Well, under 11s, we're free to come up here and uh, the rest of us, 10 New Zealand dollars each. Bearing in mind that this is a World Heritage Site, I gotta say that is really good value for money. Yet another reason to come and visit Turkey. Reason why we blitzed it through Pamukkale is because we are off to Cappadocia today. That's a seven hour drive. Next time on Sailing Nico, check out the amazing Cappadocia as we continue on our inland trip into Turkey. Bye, 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 bye.